Hello guys, today we're gonna do a top 12 best Mega Man World Masters. Part 2, including Mega Man 7 to 10, not not Mega Man 1 to 6, because I already made a video of that already. Including Mega Man and Beige. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number 12. Number 12 is Galaxy Man. He's kind of cool. Uh, he's like a UFO kind of thing. His stage is fun, but mostly he has like these reappearing stuff when you jump inside of it. You go on the other side and jump or something. Um, his stage is not that hard. I think that's why you go for him first, man. It's not that hard at all. Um, his fight is pretty easy. All it does is fly around, shoots this black hole bomb that's super easy to avoid. That you can, uh, freeze with the concrete shot. But anyways, uh, yeah. His fight's kind of easy. His weapon's great. Kills It kills Jewel Man. I don't go for Galaxy Man first. I go for, um... Uh, Splash Woman, because, uh, yeah, you have to go to, uh, you gotta go to Jewel Man after Galaxy Man. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number 11. Number 11 is Grenade Man. Uh, he's kind of cool. Uh, his voice acting is kind of weird. I'll be nice on you! Seriously, dude? You can't be nice on someone that's gonna kill you. Why would you be nice to the Blue Bomber? Anyway, his stage is, uh, kind of forgettable, to be honest. That's why it's not that high on the list, because the stage is kind of forgettable. His weapon's great. His weapons, like the flash bomb, is really cool. It, it it works on a lot of mini bosses. Well, not a lot of mini bosses. Uh, it works on a lot of enemies. It destroys the crap out of enemies. Yeah, his thing songs are right. Oh, forgot to mention Galaxy Man's thing song. Uh, his thing song's cool. Anyway, um, um, his fight's pretty easy. All he does shoots grenade balls. Is some of these uh iron bars or something. Then he shoots the floor when he's almost dead. Then boom, his fight is over. Kind of easy. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number 10. Number 10 is Nitro Man. He's cool. He's based off a motorcycle. Who doesn't like motorcycles? He's based on a motorcycle. Anyway, this stage is cool. You gotta avoid these trucks. If you touch them, they explode. A bunch of these enemies and all that. And these, like, vehicle-based enemies or something. His stage is cool, but it's mostly easy. Depending on what mode you play on. I played on normal mode. Don't tell me I play on easy mode because I never I don't do that kind of crap. If you watch my Mega Man 2, get let's play on my first or second channel. I do not do that crap. Anyways, this fight is pretty easy. Well, it's actually kind of hard actually because you had to use the stupidest weapon from Chill Man. Anyways, uh, his fight is not that hard if, if you're not using Chill Man's weapon. But anyways. You kill him, you get like a combination of Metal Blade and, uh, Metal Blade and Search Snake. That's useful. His thing songs are alright, though. Meanways, actually, it's kind of cool. Thing songs rocks. I'll see you guys at number... I'll see you guys at number nine. Number nine is Chill... I mean, uh, Turbo Man. Not Chill Man. I meant to say Turbo Man. Anyways, number nine is Turbo Man. He's the very first vehicle-based robot master. He looks badass. You can tell that he's a badass because he wears shades. Anyways, uh, his stage is cool. Well, I hate the hate the mini. He has a mini boss, some truck mini boss that shoots mini versions of him. It's kind of hard to avoid, but when you get used to it, it's kind of easy. Anyways, uh, I hate that one part. There's like instant kill fire and all that, and the uh, the tile part. And you gotta fight some sniper Joe in a huge truck and all that. And I'm not gonna mention the little small. White fire beams that does a lot of damage. Think song's great. It's badass because he's a badass. Uh, his fight is is easy if you have a noise crush. Without it, he's kind of hard without noise crush. Um, he, all he does is he transforms. Wait, speaking of that, he's a freaking transformer. He transforms like one, like Nitro Man, because Nitro Man, it's a, it's a transformer too. You know what, his thing song's cool, I just, I just mentioned. His weapon, uh, it's useless. Doesn't work on no mini bosses, like Slash Man. He's like, he's like weak to the same weapon as Burst Man. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number eight. Number eight is Pirate Man. He's so cool. Uh, he's from Mega Man of Bates, so if you never play that game, it's kind of hard. His stage is kind of like Aquaman. It's kind of like Aquaman redone. Not talk about, like, uh, we Aquaman. Talk about that crappy-ass Mega Man Aquaman. Anyways, this stage is, um, kind of bland, actually. You gotta do it for these spikes that does a lot of damage. The bubble puzzle from, uh, um, Tangle Man stage, but, hey, he did it better. 
Screw you, Tangle Man. You burn in hell. I don't like your stage. It's stupid. Anyways, this thing song's awesome. I love it. Uh, his fight is, um, kind of hard, actually. Well, if you have his weapon, he's kind of easy. If you have his weakness being a wave burner. Okay. Anyways, um, his weapon's useful. Remote mine, you have to, you have to use on, on that stupid freaking jerk! Anyways, yeah. His weapon's useful. I'll see you guys at number seven. Number seven is Search Man. He is awesome. I like his stage. His stage is, uh, pretty easy. Well, it's kind of hard if you're playing it first time. Uh, his fight, this fight is kind of easy as well. Uh, his, his weakness is the flaming sword. But in fact, the next, uh, ball, the next robot master is going to be flame, fire based. The next two are going to be fire based. So, if you hear birds, because, uh, just annoy it, because it's like birds around this trailer. But anyways, his weapon's crappy. It works on Astral Man. Uh, he's kind of crappy. Um, his thing song's great. Um, his fight is super easy. All he does is like shoot these missiles. He goes in these bushes and creates two fake versions of himself. I mean, of themselves. Uh, I th this should is it just me guys or he should be called Search Men because he has two heads. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number six. Number six is Sword Man. He is a badass. Uh, there, this is the last robot matches from Mega Man Eight because I only like three of them. I mean four of them. I was uh forgetting about Astro Man. Rest in peace, Astro Man's feelings. Anyways, his fight is easy. All he does is, like block. He uses his legs to block your path, and he splits apart and try to hit you with his sword. He also summons his statue thing. Yeah, and he also kind of shoots fire as well. I think. I think he does that in eight bit version. This stage is like a puzzle or something. You gotta solve these mystery kind of puzzles. This stage is easy. I did not have that trouble. Astro Man stage? Oh my god. In Mega Man 8? Oh my god. I hate his stage. Screw you, Astro Man stage. I hate it. Frick you, Astro Man stage. You can burn hell. You know what? I'll see you guys at number 5. Number 5 is Magma Man. He is awesome. He's from, like, he, Mega Man 9 brought back the series, and he got, uh, Mega Man 9 has some cool robot masters, like Mega Man 2. Only bad robot masters being Concrete Man and freaking uh, Plug Man, really? What the hell do you make a robot master based on a plug when you charge a phone at? Anyway, uh, his fight is not that hard if you have Tornado Blow, uh, it's kind of easy. His stage is, uh, great, it's not, it's kind of a gettable, but it's still great. His thing sounds awesome, because he's empty, kill fire beams like Tornado, like Turbo Man! Anyways, yeah, I did not have trouble going through his stage. It's kind of easy. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number four. Number four is Cloud Man. His stage is awesome. If you have the Freeze Cracker, you can make it snow. It's kind of cool. His fight is easy. With Danger Rap, oh my god, his fight is pathetic with Danger Rap. You just, he like blows. It, like, when you hit a weakness with Mega Man, with Robot Masters for Mega Man 9, I mean Mega Man 7. I resist their pattern. That's what makes the bosses so freaking easy. Anyways, uh, he they just go cool, things on great weapon, freaking powerful as hell. People mostly won't expect Cloud Man on a on a top twelve best robot masters list, but screw you, people. Why would you all dislike Cloud Man? He looks better than freaking Wind Man. I mean, compare a Cloud Man to Wind Man. Who's better? Freaking Cloud Man. Screw you, Wind Man. You're stupid. Who don't likes Wind Man? He's retarded. He's like, he's a disgrace of a Wind Robot Master. Anyways, all he does is like shoot these uh, thunder beams or something. I think that's all he does. I can't remember what he does. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number three. Number three is so I mean, I mean Blade Man. I kind of I kind of mixed him up with a, a Sword Man. He's badass. I mean, look at him. His head is a blade. His arms are blades. His uh, feet looks kind of like blades. He's kind of cool, actually. Uh, his he's all he does is like shoot three blades at you. They're kind of easy to avoid. His weakness is the uh, commando bomb. The commando bomb is kind of crappy when you fight him. His stage is definitely not ripping off Nightman stage. I I don't find the stage as cool as Nightman's, but still, it's, it has its moments. I hate that part when you had to jump up and up when you over spikes. I hate that part so much. I died so many times on that part trying to get through. 
You know what? Yeah, his thing sounds great. Weapon, awesome. That's, it works on Strike Man. It does quick work on Strike Man. You know what? His weapon's great. And I like the Castle Mina boss. You know what? I'll see you guys at number two. Number two is Ground Man. Look at him! He has drills! He has, like, his toes are drills, his arms are drills, and he, he even has a stomach drill, too. God. He's awesome! He's, as you can see, he's kind of like a transformer because he's like, he transforms to a tank. I like those caterpillars. I don't like the caterpillar mini balls. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of hard, actually, to me. It's hard as hell. I don't know if the, if the caterpillar boss has a weakness. But, anyways, this thing sounds great. His weapon is useful. I don't, I, I don't remember the last time I used it, but I'll keep on you. I used it. I'm a freaking stupid flying turd boss! Anyways, yeah. His weapon reminds me of the stupid frickin' turd boss! Anyways. Uh, his fight's kinda easy. He, he like, he like, goes in the, under the ground, he like, shoots this giant drill at you. He transforms to a tank, and like, go back and forth and all that. I don't know if he does use his own we weapon that you get from him. Um, yeah. He does use a spread drill, I don't know if he does use it. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number one. Number one is Slash Man. Sorry, y'all. Slash Man's a badass. He looks like a Super Saiyan, to be honest, look. He looks like, kind of like a Superman. I, don't, I mean, like a Super Saiyan. His, like, design, if you can't tell, is, like, kind of based off pood Poodle. Uh, Poodle. I'm not talking about that. Th I'm not talking about the planet. Well, that used to be a planet. Poodle used to be a planet. Uh, I'm talking about that, that, that Star Droid. But, uh, that's kind of... His design is kind of based off the Star Droid from, from Mega Man V on Game Boy. Anyway, his stage is like Jurassic Park base, which is awesome as hell. It's Jurassic Park base. has these dinosaurs. There's like a dinosaur with the spikes. If you have a scorch wheel, you can like set the stuff, the trees on fire. You can set the woods on fire. Um, His fight is kind of, his fight's kind of easy. All he does is like use a slash call. He goes up and he spawns these eggs. And he like charges like a badass at you. Yeah, sorry. Um, honorable mentions will be, uh... Will be um all right Astro Astro Man uh Splash Woman and Shade Man will be honorable mentions. Oh yeah, right one more honorable mention from Mega Man Ten and that will be uh Sword Man. Those are the robot master that didn't make it on the list. His weapon has a short range, but it it it's not that it's not that it doesn't go that far, but it's still useful. Anyways, out thank you guys for watching this. On Saturday, I will do a top 12 best, I mean, worst Robot Masters video. Anyways, peace out.